So, it's a new city has come to an end. I know, but what a great festival. Absolutely. Events like this are so awesome, mainly because you get to see major releases before they go out on general release. It's true. So what was your favourite film at the festival this year? I don't know. It was difficult to say. There's so many great films screen. What did you like the most? Personally, I really enjoyed Wild. Mm, Wild was good. A true life story of Cheryl Strayed, a troubled woman who attempts to follow the treacherous thousand mile track known as the Pacific Crest Trail. It was a fascinating story. I thoroughly enjoyed Reese Witherspoon's performance in it as Cheryl. I found the character very relatable. It was kind of similar to tracks which I also adored, again about a strong woman making an incredible journey. However, I felt much more attachment to the strayed character rather than Wazakowska's enigmatic one. I can't say I was a fan of Witherspoon in this film, which is weird because I really like the character. I just felt there were parts of her performance where she wasn't fully invested in her character. I think that's unfair. This film was optioned and produced by Witherspoon. It's her baby. She delivers a very subtle, well-rounded performance. She plays the shades of light and dark really well. I don't know. It it feels like a slightly misjudged attempt at rebooting her career. I mean, she even brought on Jean-Marc Vallée, who recently helped with the epic McConaughey reboot. So what? If Witherspoon wants to take her career in a different direction, she has every right to. And I think she really pulls it off. Maybe I am being a little harsh. And I'm not saying that the movie wasn't well executed. Vallée shows a real mastery of the flashback, which has become quite a tired cinematic device. But in this film, it's really creatively used to show the function of memory in a creative and somewhat realistic way. But it wasn't your favourite film? No, for me I think maybe Peter Strickland's The Duke of Burgundy, which plays as a kind of modernised homage to the exploitation films of Hazus Franco. I don't know if I can get behind a film about a sadomasochistic lesbian relationship made by a bunch of men. I mean, I would have my doubts too, but I think that the portrayal is very strong. It does have some interesting things to say. I mean, there isn't exactly much of a plot, and it's much more driven by its strong visuals and sound, but predominantly by its sound, which Strickland has shown a real mastery of in this and his previous film, Barbarian Sound Studio. It is very much a film for the cinema. It's a lush cinematic experience, and it is very funny. Absolutely. It plays on your expectations in a delightfully mischievous way. Mischievous is a really good way to describe it. That is why I said it. It was good. But what about Birdman? Mmm, Birdman. Wow, incredible. I know. It's funny and moving and brilliantly acted by its ensemble cast. It's quite different to the other two. Wild is a one-woman show, and then the Duke of Burgundy is quite a claustrophobic two-hander, whereas Birdman has a very rich cast. Absolutely, and it's always nice to see a film pushing the boundaries of film form the way that Birdman does. The long take has to be the most admired and coveted shot in cinema, and Birdman makes a whole film out of it. The long take is a very interesting cinematic device, usually used to draw attention to the passing of time in a very literal way. But days pass in Birdman's diegetic world without breaking the take, and it's fascinating to watch these temporary shifts in time without breaking the film's real time. It's an interesting device. If you think about the reason why continuity editing came about in the first place, it was to distract the viewer from the fact that they were watching a film. But the long take really draws the attention back to the filmmakers in the same way that absurdist theatre does. But it makes sense. The film is largely set in the four walls of a theatre, so it makes sense for it to be quite theatrical. But was it your favourite? Oh, I don't know. It's too hard to pick. It'll take a second viewing at least. Unfortunately, you'll have to wait a few months for that. No, it's so annoying. I wish it could be City every day. Okay.